morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Karen Emerson, and today I have with me Preston and Reese, and this is actually their six-year-old leopard gecko named Rex. Now, well, you'll notice with Rex, Rex only has three legs. She was actually attacked by a cat. You guys' cat bit her, didn't, didn't your cat? And they brought her in. We actually had a broken uh, front left limb. Now, we did try splinting the limb uh, to try to see if we could get it to heal naturally, but the bones are so tiny that we were unable to stabilize, and they don't really make pins you can put in there. So what we did is we opted to take the leg off, a simple amputation. A lot of people think when you have to amputate a limb on a reptile or any other type of animal that their quality of life goes down drastically. That is not true. They actually get along quite well. Um, if, when you see the x-ray, you can see she was very lucky. The cat only broke uh, one section of the arm and there was an open wound, but normally cat bites can be lethal. So we went ahead and started antibiotics and we really did try the splint, but sometimes amputation is the way to go and your pet can still have a wonderful quality of life. How is the cat doing? Are y'all just keeping the cat away from her and, and watching more often? Um, because cats, they love lizards. You know, they'll eat birds. Um, so you have to be really careful with that. And the way I closed it, I actually did a padding of muscle so that when she did have to put pressure on it, it would not cause any type of uncomfortable uh, pain or anything. So if you have a leopard gecko or you have a lizard or even a dog or cat that something happens and they do get a limb mutilated and you're really upset about even thinking about amputation, give us a call. Make that appointment. Don't give up and don't euthanize. And I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.